and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivation advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of self-love. What does self-love really mean? Self-love means that you love yourself enough to go after your dreams and that you feel deserving and worthy of love, success, and abundance. Many of us at some point in our lives forget about self-love and subconsciously begin to believe that we are not worthy of abundance and all the great things life has to offer. We look at successful people or successful relationships and we think, oh, that's only for certain people who are lucky. That wouldn't happen to me. The truth is, we were all put on this earth to thrive, not just survive. When we practice self-love and we understand our worth, we break the cycle of negative self-talk and replace it with affirmations like, I can, I will, and I am worthy. Feeling worthy of success and love is essential to living a fulfilling and full life. As Marian Williamson so eloquently quotes, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. I love that you said that Oprah learned about the law of attraction from your course. You know, speaking of Oprah and motivational gurus, you're one of the top motivational gurus up there with Tony Robbins, Oprah. So what do you think the key to your success has been? Because you've had long-term success. I have invested about 150,000 hours studying uh, these subjects and uh, writing them down and making plans and working on them. Mm -hmm. And it's not a very is if, if you want to be successful in any field, like for example, in broadcasting and radio, what you do is you, you study the subject and you write it down and you make plans to achieve it. And you, and you get up earlier and you work harder and you stay later. And um, again, you start to see all kinds of possibilities. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Canadian-American motivational public speaker and self-development author, Brian Tracy. Brian has written and produced more than 300 audio and video learning programs, including the worldwide best-selling Psychology of Achievement, which has been translated into more than 28 languages. Brian, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Uh, I'm just doing great, thank you very much. I'm sure we had a little problem with the uh, <laughs> and the internet, but uh, we are entrepreneurs and uh, we figure things out and keep on moving, so let's go. <laughs> exactly, we make it happen no matter what, challenges or no challenges, we still make it happen. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about your successful career. You've had over 70 top selling books. Let's go back to the beginning. How did you develop a love for personal development and writing? Actually, we're up to 90 books now. Wow. And I'm working on book uh, number 91. It should be finished uh, within a month. Um, and, and what happened was when I was a, when I was a little boy, I fell in love with uh, with reading, and uh, I just became obsessed with it. And I read and read and read and read and read. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so uh, I read morning, noon, and night. Uh, I was when I was five and six years old, I was reading, and um, uh, it never stopped. So every time I got a chance to read something, uh, I would just gobble it up. And, uh, and, and when I was in school, of course, I uh, wrote uh, essays and I wrote uh, stories and I wrote um, all the time. And that's what, that's what got me to where I am today. And one of my favorite books that you've written is The Science or The Psychology of Achievement. So let's talk about that book. You know, how does one develop a winning mindset? First of all, you, you, you start to think about uh, the things that you need to learn and do in order to be successful. And what I did is I just, just began reading and then synthesizing and reading and synthesizing and uh, putting them all together. And then people would say, well, what about this and what about that? And I would explain it to them. And they say, well, can you, can you show me how that works? And uh, very soon, I began to uh, teach other people. I mean, even when I was in my teens, 
people would ask me, what about this and what about that? And I would say, well, you, you can do this or you can do that. And I had groups of people. I would go to a party when I was a teenager. I would go to a party. Mm -hmm. And um, someone would ask me something and I would begin to explain it to them. And, and soon, the parties, I still remember, the party kind of settled down and everybody kind of sat in a circle around me listening uh, to me explaining um, how they can be more successful. Uh, the importance of setting goals and writing down your goals and uh, the importance of um, writing things down um, on a regular basis, and then reading uh, books by other people who are successful. And uh, they were just fascinated. And more and more people would, would, would invite me to, uh, to, party, to, uh, yeah, to parties, and then they'd ask me questions. And I would sort of sit with a circle of people around me as I uh, explained to them uh, how success works. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is to know exactly what it is that you want, and then to write it down and develop a plan, mm -hmm. and then to work on your plan and do something every day that moves you towards your goal. And uh, it just seemed normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, more and more, uh, people would ask me more questions. Well, how do you do this and how do you do that? How do you decide what it is uh, that you really want? And uh, how, will you, how do you decide if you're, if you're failing? What do you, what do, you do then? Mm -hmm. And this became sort of like, a, like almost automatic. You do more of this and you stop doing that. And it mm -hmm. was just sort of, sort of natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and of course, you coach people. You're also a personal development coach. How do you help people break old patterns? Because, you know, of course, your mindset is the most important thing, having a winning mindset. So how do people break those old patterns of behavior that might be holding them back? The main thing is, and I, I say, it, it, when you think it, ink it. It's so just a little one-liner is that successful people uh, get into the habit of writing things down. And um, and it's really quite amazing. When you write things down, you actually program them into your subconscious mind. And you start to attract into your life people and circumstances and ideas that help you to move towards your goal. And, uh, and so, so the, the more I work on these things, um, the faster I move toward my goals and the faster my goals move toward me. Mm -hmm. Here's an example. Uh, everybody wants to be wealthy. And, and, and the reason we want to be wealthy is uh, so that we can have freedom. Mm -hmm. And so we ask, what is it that people want more than anything else in life? Is they want freedom. They want to be free to, you know, to do anything uh, with their lives. And the way that you do that is you have money. If you have money, you can do, all, you can do almost anything you want. So what you do is you say, well, what is it that I really want in life? And then you write, you write it up. And if, you if you don't write it down, what happens is it's like cigarette smoke. It just kind of disappears. Mm -hmm. And so when you write things down, you actually program them into your subconscious mind. And then your subconscious mind works on those goals um, 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And I, then I discovered the superconscious mind. And the superconscious mind, I discovered it in my uh, early 30s, superconscious mind is, is this great power that each person has. And when you write something down, your superconscious mind starts to go to work to attract your goals into your life and, and to attract you towards your goals. Mm -hmm. It's the most uh, amazing thing. And there's, there's all kinds of stuff about the law of attraction. And uh, so when you write something down, um, you set up a force field of energy and you start to attract into your life people and circumstances and move you towards your goal and move your goal toward you. And it's the most amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And um, so people would say, well, how do you do this and how do you do that? And one after another, I would write it down and explain it. And people would uh, ask me questions or, or, or call me or uh, telephone me. And um, 
their lives so they can as well. And you touch base on the law of attraction. I love that because I love the law of attraction. Um, I discovered it a few years ago and I've been definitely implementing it in my life with affirmations and also writing things down like you mentioned. How do you think the law of attraction has helped you become so successful? I discovered the law of attraction decades ago uh, in my 20s. And uh, what I did is I read and read and I found that if you write things down, it said you set up this force field of energy that starts to attract things into your life. And it starts, it starts to give you ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, and it attracts people into your life. It attracts books and, and articles and other information uh, into your life. And when you do that, the most amazing thing happens. You find that uh, anything that you really want if you think about it and talk about it long enough and hard enough, you start to see ways to achieve it. And it's almost like uh, sort of a form of magic. It's interesting that you've heard of the book, The Secret. Mm -hmm. The Secret is popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had, I set up a network of uh, people all over the world, about 150 people, training people uh, on my materials. I developed a two-day seminar mm -hmm. called The Phoenix Seminar. And the phoenix is the uh, great power that draws people into your life. And what I explained was about 32 lessons, 32 laws that uh, I had discovered. And uh, I read and studied and wrote it down, ran and studied. And um, I do all this seminar. And throughout this seminar, like a thread, um, people uh, learned about the laws. For example, it's a very simple law, and um, it's called the law of thought, mm -hmm. uh, the law of mind. And whatever you think about it on a regular basis, you start to attract into your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you know, I started to teach laws, for example, the law of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect is the great law. Mm -hmm. It's considered to be the great law uh, of uh, human uh, society. And uh, it was discovered by Aristotle. Well, I explained Aristotle uh, in about 350 B.C. And uh, Aristotle said, we, we live in a universe that is governed by cause. In other words, there's a reason for everything that happens. And so I began to study Aristotle, and then I began to study uh, Socrates and, and, and Plato and, and the other great thinkers. And uh, Aristotle said, we can't, we, we, we live in a, in a, universe based on the cause and effect. So he began to study it. He began to teach it. And uh, I, I was just fascinated by it. And, and, and when people began to think about what they wanted, to visualize what they wanted, they set up a force field of energy. They started to attract these things in your life. Interestingly, I told you I had 150 distributors all over the world. And uh, in um, uh, New Zealand, mm -hmm. I had a distributor that taught my courses. I had workbooks and um, uh, exercises and, 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 and plans, and uh, my, my, my distributors uh, of my program in uh, New Zealand uh, taught people just like they taught them all over uh, Australia, all over Europe, and all over uh, uh, Europe, and all over. Uh, even Russia and mm -hmm. other countries. And they, so people came to these seminars and they began to just play with these ideas and they set up a force field of energy. Well, anyway, um, my distributor, Tom, and his wife, Bev, in, uh, in New Zealand, uh, they began to teach this course. And uh, one of the people who attended this course was Rhonda Byrne. Mm -hmm. And Rhonda Byrne uh, was fascinated by it. She, uh, she's the author of uh, The Secret, mm -hmm. and she was fascinated by it. And um, so she began to write about it and began to teach other people. And uh, she began, and, and the most amazing darn thing was she wrote the book, The Secret, and surprise, surprise, she started to set up a full field of energy uh, that attracted people into her life. Mm -hmm. And then she called me after she'd written the book, The Secret, and she said, I, I, I'd love to come and visit with you in San Diego. Oh. And as it happened, um, 
I uh, was not in the office and they spoke to one of my staff members and he said, well, very, uh, very aggressive. He said, well, what's there for Brian? Uh, why should Brian spend his time uh, working with you? Well, he, he, he might uh, be helped by this material. And, and if he was, then he would learn more teaching from more people. Anyway, so they said, well, if Brian isn't going to get anything out of this, uh, I'm not going to waste my time. And so Wanda went to uh, uh, Hawaii, mm -hmm. where uh, a bunch of people, friends of mine, were having a, a big meeting uh, with all uh, success teachers and spoke to all of them and talked to them about the law, uh, the secret, and uh, interviewed them. And uh, they, uh, like people like Dennis Waitley and, and Bob Clark and others, they uh, spoke about it and talked about how helpful the, uh, the, the, the secret was in the law of attraction. And uh, they got very excited about it. And soon all of these people were invited to uh, go on to the uh, Oprah Winfrey show. Wow. And yeah, and uh, uh, millions of people uh, learned about this stuff. And here I was, I was traveling and speaking all over the world. And it was only a later, almost a year later, when the book The Secret came out, that my staff member told me, uh, well, she called us and uh, wanted to uh, work with us, but I, I didn't think there was anything in it for him. So she learned about the law of attraction by attending my seminar. Mm -hmm. it was the, the seminar is called The Psychology of Achievement. And, um, she, uh, I never did that. I never did meet her personally, but she got all of the ideas from the secret from my seminar. She went to it three times and wrote down all the notes and um, and became su successful and famous, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Which is wonderful. Because the law of attraction says that if you <clears throat> combine a picture um, of your goal and you think about it over and over, you set up this force field of energy it starts to bring everything that you want in your life, in your life, to uh, make your goals come true. Mm -hmm. And so everybody starts to run around in circles talking about the secret and how helpful the secret was. That the secret has been out there for 4,000 years. Mm -hmm. And the secret runs through all the great religions, all the great philosophies, it goes all the way back to 2,000 years before Christ. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, and, it, and so everybody knows about it. And, and the bottom line for our uh, friends who are listening is that let us say that you want to earn a lot of money. Let's mm -hmm. just take that as an example. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you uh, make a plan uh, and you write it down and then you work on it every day. Mm -hmm. You read how people make uh, more money. Mm -hmm. You um, write it down. You, you study uh, the laws of money. I have uh, a, a, a chapter in there of my book. It's called The Laws of Money. It's 21 laws that I that I discovered. And if you uh, understand these laws, and again, you begin to attract more and more money in your life. Mm -hmm. And you, you say, this is amazing. Well, it's not amazing. It's just a law. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, and, anyway, so if any news you want in life, you can have, if you're absolutely clear about it, and you write it down, and you work on it all the time. I completely agree with that. And as I said, I've been using the law of attraction for the past couple of years and I've seen a massive growth uh, in my life. You know, I recently bought a house as well and it's, I think I've done it all through the law of attraction and really visualizing and believing that it could happen. I even have a vision board. I love that you said that Oprah learned about the law of attraction from your course. You know, speaking of Oprah and motivational gurus, you're one of the top motivational gurus up there with Tony Robbins, Oprah. So what do you think the key to your success has been because you've had long-term success over so much time so what do you think has separated you from other people out there I have invested uh, about 150,000 hours studying uh, these subjects and uh, writing them down and making plans and working on them mm -hmm. and it's not a miracle is if, if you want to be successful in any field like for example in broadcasting and radio what you do is you you study the subject, and you write it down, and you make plans to achieve it, and you and you get up earlier, and you work harder, and you stay later. And um, again, 
you start to see all kinds of possibilities that you hadn't seen before. Mm -hmm. And then you work on those possibilities. And uh, the, the, the one uh, characteristic of the most successful people is that they work longer and harder than average people. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I remember uh, one of my staff was talking to a member of the National Speakers Association, and he said, well, I'm going to be uh, the next Brian Tracy. Mm -hmm. And uh, my employee said, no, you're not. He said, well, why, why not? I mean, Brian says you can do anything that you want. You can achieve anything that you want to achieve. He said, and, and my, my staff member, Vic, said, you're not willing to do the work. Mm -hmm. And I always remember that. He said, Brian works harder than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And you're not willing to put in the work. And this, you'll find that 85% of successful people, when they're asked, uh, why do you think it is that you're successful, is that they work harder than anybody else. Mm -hmm. They work. They, work, they get up I say, earlier, they work harder, they stay later. They just work harder than anyone else. And mm -hmm. the great majority of people, 80%, 80-20 all, unfortunately, are, are lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, they do is they cut corners. Uh, they take the easy way. They uh, are not willing to pay the price. But if you're willing to pay the price, there's nothing that can stop you mm -hmm. from uh, being a big success. So mm -hmm. that, for me, I started off and I didn't graduate from high school. And so what I did is I um, worked harder mm -hmm. than other people. I, 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 when, I did, when I finished high school, not graduating, what I did was I uh, went out and my first uh, job was washing dishes mm -hmm. in the back of a small hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked hard at that and then I got another job and another job. And I just worked harder and harder than anyone else. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a miracle. And, uh, and then I found that if you work harder than anyone else, you start to attract all kinds of opportunities into your life to be more and more successful. Yes, I completely agree with that. Work harder and smarter than everyone else and you will succeed. You know what, Brian, thank you so much for being on the show today. I know we had some technical difficulties, but we made it happen and I'm so honored that you were, you took the time to come on the show. So thank you so much and congratulations again on all of your success. It's really inspiring and incredible. So thank you. Well, let me just leave you with this is, and I tell people, if you want to achieve a goal, write it down in the present tense as though it was already a reality. Mm -hmm. you know, so if it, say you wanted to earn $100,000 a year, mm -hmm. you just simply say, I earn $100,000 a year. Mm -hmm. And you think about earning $100,000 a year, and you just write it down. And then you say, what are all the things that I could do to earn $100,000 a year? And then write down everything that you can think of that you can do. And then look at your list, and then pick one thing and go to work on that mm -hmm. and just work on it over and over until you start to see yourself making progress it's not an miracle read everything you can possibly read here's an interesting example that I'll let you go is um, uh, we say that you become what you think about most of the time mm -hmm. so the question is what do you think about most of the time and you'll find that wealthy people think about money mm -hmm. much of the time mm -hmm. and they write it and they make plans to achieve it. Mm -hmm. And they work at it. And they read books and courses and articles. And they take seminars. And they attract into their lives opportunities to uh, earn more money. And they just keep working at it and working at it. Average people go home and watch television. The average uh, wealthy person who studies money making two to three hours a day. They study their subject. They study their... Uh, area of expertise. The average poor person um, goes home and watches television. Mm -hmm. Wealthy people watch television an average of an hour a day. Mm -hmm. Poor people watch television five to seven hours a day. And so you just have to look. What, what do you do most of the time? How do you spend your time? Mm -hmm. And that will show you the direction that you're going to go in life. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's very, very true. Thank you so much, Brian. It's been a pleasure <laughs> and enjoy your Thanks. day. Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.